Do you have like a favorite recipe or like type of food you love or an ingredient? You're like, oh, I love cooking like beef or mm. anything. Um, I'm a huge geek for fermentation. Like that's oh. what I love. Um, in the beginning, so like a lot of my lab work that I did in school, mm-hmm. like my thesis and everything had to do with fermentation. Mm-hmm. So definitely super into like funkiness. Wow. <laughs> you know, like I love making my own. Like I've tried making my own makoli. I, I brew my mm. own kombucha. That's I've so tried cool. for a while to like make my own vinegar. And then the house just smelled like feet. Um, wasn't the best um, project that I did. But I think fermentation <laughs> is something that I'm really passionate about. Mm. That I don't show often on my content. Because it, it's a big project and it takes a long time. But definitely mm. something that I want to like showcase more for That's sure. so cool. Oh, you should try making some German sour. Sauerkraut. <gasps> Love making sauerkraut. I always have a cr- kraut, like a big tub of sauerkraut like ready in my fridge. Like whenever <gasps> I, I love hot dogs. Like hot dogs are probably the way I'm going to die. Like I just put like 50% kraut <gasps> and like like 10% hot dog. And it's… Or like 50% hot dog. Mm. And it, that's just my favorite way to eat a hot dog. Wow. That's… Because yeah. I've never made sauerkraut before. I made kimchi, but I what? never made sauerkraut. Excuse me? <laughs> Who are you? Like, we're like, what? I, right I don't now? even know how to make sauerkraut. Whoa. It's so simple. You just like salt and cabbage and thyme. Oh, and then a little bit of love. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. I love that. <laughs> that that's, the, that's the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Because sauerkraut, even my grandma, like, everybody, everybody just buys it at the store. Really? It's not like in Korea where you're like, my mom's kimchi. Like, it's mm-hmm. like, you know, that's how my family makes It's not a mm-hmm. thing. Everybody just buys it. Mm, it's like the time though, right now, to make kimchi. Yeah. Yeah, my mom made kimchi while I was gone for the weekend. And I was like, why didn't you wait for me? But every time I like cook with my mom or like my aunts or grandma, I feel like I can't, I don't learn anything because for them, they don't do measuring cups. They're just like, <laughs> so it's like, just put as much as you feel. And I'm like, I, I want to me- remember this. But then that's just, they just know how much by instinct, I feel like. And so I just watch. <laughs> I just don't even You have to try. rub the cabbage. Yeah. It just takes forever. Put everything in. I think like one of my favorite Korean words is sonmat. Which tr- translates sonmat. to like mm-hmm. um, hand taste. It's just like you feel the taste by hand. Yeah. And I think it's just like so beautiful how like my grandma's like that too. Mm-hmm. And she's the person that really inspired me to cook. And just even get into food. Mm-hmm. And she also does not measure anything. Nothing. But then watching I feel like I've watched her cook for so long. And I never was like super interested in it. But then I would just like kind of like take a glance like that, right? And I think that was what like kind of like influenced me during these formative years to Mm. really love cooking. And I think that's the beauty of just watching whether it's your haimoni or your nana or your grandma cook. Like I love that aspect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I feel like grandmas, they just have this special touch. They do. Like my grandma makes the best German potato salad in the entire world. And I love, not mayo, not this like U.S. shit mm-hmm. where they put mayo in a potato salad that should be illegal. <laughs> and she, it's very simple. It's just potatoes with like olive oil and vinegar and like salt and pepper. Wow. It's like very simple. But it's like sometimes she put p- pickles in it too. Oh. And it's just so good. And every time I go to Germany, she waits at the airport with like a kilo. <laughs> She's like, welcome back potato salad. To, to Germany. <laughs> and I'm like super jet lagged. So I'll wake up at 3 a.m. just like eating potato salad from oh, the fridge. And it's so my cute. best memory. And no, I like, I cannot make it. My mom cannot make it like that. It's just oh. grandma. Oh. She just knows. Grandma's just freaking no. They have that touch. It's not like mom's touch. It's like grandma. <laughs> mom's touch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love like a little bit like experimenting with food too, I guess. Mm-hmm. And I made mango kimchi. Oh. Which Whoa. if you think about like it, um, living in Los Angeles, there's a lot of um, Mexican people and they eat the mango with like this like red pepper Tahin, spice. Yeah. Right? Mm. So I'm like, hmm, I wonder how it would taste if you make mango with like the kimchi sauce mm-hmm. that you make kimchi with. Bomb. Oh, really? That sounds so amazing. It's, I mean, in theory, it's perfect, exactly. right? Exactly. Like it also has elements of Thai food. If you think about it, like green papaya salad. It's the same mm-hmm. concept, mm-hmm. right? So I think that's amazing. Like I always say also, so like kimchi is a verb. It's not an actual product. <laughs> yeah. Right? So you like kimchi it. Yes. You can kimchi anything. So yeah. I love that. Like, yeah. That's beautiful. I, I'm actually like, a proof. My, I'm like… I have hearts coming out of my eyes right now. That's, that's <laughs> genius. <Approval. laughs> yes. 
You like that? You like that? You want some of that? You want some of that? <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And please turn on the notification bell and you'll never miss an episode. Nope.